Eleanor Roosevelt once said, with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. On this note, I, Sonali Kesarwani, Assistant Editor, Student Division at Department of Forensic Science, Legal Design, Media and Insight, on behalf of this department, welcome you all to the second day of Virtual Forensic Science Week. After a wonderful expert session on fire investigation, followed by fun-filled activity of fingerprinting on day one, today, let's proceed with another session by today's renowned expert, Mr. Oscar Soto Espinoza, on the topic, Forensic Odorology, the Science of Smell. Mr. Oscar has completed his university from Instituto Tecnologico Superior de Sinaloa campus in the year 2013 and is currently pursuing postgrad from the same. He has worked and assisted in various roles such as Secretary of Public Security and Municipal Transit. In fingerprint department, he assisted the head of department, managed data bank and registrations. In armory department, he was involved in partially arming and disarming the Glock 17 handgun by preventive police cooperation and preventive maintenance of weapons by the Ministry of Public Security. At Department of Academy of Professionalization, he is a creator of basic manual of the preventive police, Mazaltian, Sinaloa, Mexico, and various administrative tasks. At Agency of the Public Ministry of Common Jurisdiction, he is a specialized in the crime of vehicle theft. At Department of Expert Services and Criminalistics South Zone, he is involved in the preparation of expert opinions, drug identification test, development and fingerprinting of recovered cars. He is also the manager of Millen's Dog School and is an expert in psychological rehabilitation of canine behavior problems. He is also the founder and CEO of Alert Dog for Diabetes since 2016. He is a faculty in the University of Ephesus, teaching various domains including forensic planetry, forensic odontology, forensic ballistics, and explosives. He is also the director of the Center for Expert Oak 9. Sir has given various talks, lectures, and attended various conferences. He is a member of teaching staff in the teaching of diploma on fires and explosives in the Higher Technical Institute of Sinaloa and Secretary of Public Safety and Municipal Transit. He has published various articles and papers in reputed magazines and journals. He is a member of the worldwide internship system in a specialized forensic reconstruction, member and member of the teaching staff of the GoToMeeting platform by the Mexican Academy of Forensic Investigators and the International Association of Forensic Investigators. Now let's have an insight to his knowledgeful session. Hi everybody, how are you? Um, I hope you are safe and in the best circumstances possible in this pandemic. I'm so happy to be here. And that's why I would like to begin, say thanks. Thanks to my friend, Mr. Barga for inviting me at this important Congress. I'm so happy uh, and thank you. Thank you um, for my all my teachers, in particular, the, my teacher in this area, Mario Rosillo. And of course, thanks all of you for stay here and in bar, in bar your time to hear me about this interesting technique the forensic odorology. Well, uh, during the next 40 minutes, I will be talk about forensic odorology and especially what is, what is this technique, a little about the history and the methodology and the more frequently crimes where we can practice. I want to begin to say that this technique it's not a new technique okay always i talked about these people and the people surprised what uh, the forensic odorology was born in urss okay and union of the sovietic socialist republic hmm? can you imagine that all this they um, they wanted to create a new technique 
with the human odor and were the first intrusive in the talk. They wanted to create a new technique with the human odor and were the first intrusive in the dogs because they saw that the dogs work very well in all areas, in specific for the important role in the World War. Okay? Uh, after that, it's very important to mention the contribution by Republic, uh, RDA, German Democratic Republic, when all Europe know how this technique try to create their own methodology. Okay? Germany includes one of the most important steps in uh, um, aluminum paper, but don't worry, don't worry, uh, you will understand more uh, later. Later, uh, Holland and Hungary um, started their own investigation, and the first country here in Latin America in practice uh, forensic ecology or any variant was Cuba. Cuba, USA, United States of America, and I believe that the more contribution has here, here it's in, Amer in Latin America, uh, it's Argentina, where I went to study. Okay, <clears throat> like you can see here in the picture, uh, here we can find the forensic odorology. See, the forensic odorology has presence in a lot of countries around the world, in Europe, uh, Russia. Germany, Czech Republic, France, Holland, and Spain. Here in Latin America, Cuba, Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, Ecuador, okay, and another countries, okay. But uh, this is a, a little resume. Okay, here uh, it's more important. Pay attention, please. Uh, a lot of people have a wrong idea for this technique. That's why I brought three examples for works with dog, but not it's a forensic odorology. First, in your screen, in the right side, you can see Elton and Juan Belgian Molinoa and his handler, Juanma. They have a lot of case resolved and their specialty is detection of biology fluids. Wait a second, okay. What does it mean? Easy. Elton has the ability to detect biology fluids like blood, saliva, and semen, even if they were cleaned at the crime scene. And another topic you can see in the middle Bruno and their handler, my friend Tula, and his wife Raquel. Then create a great team, and his especially its reference smell or reference smell search. Uh, I have the honor to know, uh, to know, and all you can read more about his work, and and a lot of paper, a lot of newspaper in Argentina. Uh, 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 Argentina, I forget, uh, Juanma and Elton are from Spain and the Civil War. Well, uh, what does it mean? What does reference smell search? Uh, the best reference I have for this, all the uh, it's all the movies and the series that you can see when the people bring something in the dog and smell and, and smell and immediately start follow the other across the all the city across all the town uh, to find the person or another evidence relation uh, with with the other references and of course and finally uh, corbata corbata is the name of the dog in, and his handler mario rosillo my teacher uh, they create and funded the basis the forensic odorology in argentina uh, but this is our is our next topic. Unfortunately, uh, Corbata and Elton died in this this year 2020. Then, uh, uh, then what is a forensic odorology? Here you have one picture with four yellow circles where I try to resume all the technique forensic odorology that begin uh, with the take the order 
and finally over in the comparison the other. The first step follow the next step and subsequently. We can obtain the other to many places and surfaces. The same crime is one of the most important evidence in the same crime. The victim and the victimizer all we know. Uh, here in this picture, you can see the different places of we can obtain the other and take the other. Uh, we can take the other, the first and the same kind, of course. Uh, we can take the other the, of the suspect too. And we can take the other of with eyewitness. Why eyewitness? Because we will be a, a comparison with the different other. Uh, we can take the order of the evidence, of course, the gun, knife, and object touched in the same crime or any surfaces touched by the victim or the victimizer, like the floor, uh, on the table, chair, uh, perhaps. Uh, remember, we have a principle that talk about the of change and correspondence of evidence. Thus exists two ways to obtain the order of the suspect or any surfaces. The first is this gun, call it STU-100. If you have technology and resource, uh, but the truth is that the more frequently way to do this is the second way. Here you have the fabulous equipment to forensic odorology. With this, we can uh, with this uh, we can do magic. It's integrated by gloves, by your safety, uh, by your safety suit and gauze, of course, and tweezers, aluminum paper, and important jar. Okay, it's very important a jar. And what is the technique? We locate, we locate the possible position of the victim and the victimizer and identify the possible object with which they have contact and place the ghost above the superface, surfaces. Okay, the surface. Uh, how long? The time is an average on the 5 or 10 minutes. It's different in each country. And after this, the gas is put in the jar and it's labeled with the information from where it was obtained. Remember, this is very important. Important, important, very important. When I talked about Germany contribution and when I talked about our equipment, I say aluminum paper. The aluminum paper must be put about the gas and with the object they reduce the loss and preserve the order we have the preserve okay sent to laboratory here in latin america we have a concept called chain of custody that it means we must to transport all evidence with the most carefully possible and with the correct way possible in this case, in particular, the other must be transported quickly to the laboratory for add to other bank. Okay? Yeah, we can. Uh, we can the possibility to create an other bank like other techniques, perhaps fingerprints and ballistic system. Of course, our evidence is not possible to digitize. Uh, okay, that's the only problem. That's the only problem. And finally, we have the comparison. The comparison is the most controversial step because the majority of people think it's not correct to do with the half one dog. Okay? Uh, always when the people say me that, I answer, okay, it's not correct that the dogs uh, help here, but it's correct the dog help with detection explosive, the sizes, food, drugs, money, uh, we don't have congruence. Uh, if we work with the dog, it's because we know they work, okay? And like we, uh, like we see before, 
that succeeds a lot of country practice. Uh, like we uh, like we see before, that succeeds a lot of country practice odology, and the methodology can vary in any steps, like could be the comparison. Any country works with do two dogs and another with three dogs, but Never is recommended where work with only one dog. Okay, uh, all the jars must be stay in the lineup and will integrate by other the eyewitness can be or not relation with the case, and of course the order of the suspect like the book mm, can can I suspect discrimination. And the end, I will talk about the books related. Uh, well, mm, the handler brings the other base obtained in the same crime or from the some evidence and the dog smell for discrimination any coincidence. Well, the expert bring the other base obtained in the same crime or from some evidence and the canine handler give the smell for discrimination any coincidence this methodology must be repeat and least two or three times with each dog we have five circles for blue and one green and one orange the blue circles are the smell of the eyewitness that remember can or not relation with the case in some countries, uh, one that the eyewitness are the same breed, height and weight, that the suspect line, and the green and the green circle is the suspect. Finally, the orange circle is the base order given to the dog. If it's positive, the consider the dog will sit or some countries down, but I recommend only sit because when the dog down. Goes through the series more complex process, and it's not necessarily true. And following the topic about the reason that we still use a dog, it's because right now is the more powerful olfactory sensor, and we can train it with relative easy. Right now, it's more cheap and practice that any machine and let me show something okay uh, let's talk about number human has on the surface of the skin approximately two billion cells we pour 667 cells per second its average life is 36 hours in promedy and one minute equals to 40,020 cells poor. Three minutes equals a 120,000 disquadment cells. And what does it mean? It's simple and it's easy. The dog needs about 9,000 to perceive an olfactory sensation only 9000 I want to show you two videos it's pay, pay attention please one of them it's my dog Batman it's a Labrador Batman like the comic exactly okay uh, when when we record that moment he was a puppy still the video is when he started his training and only had two weeks and it's very important. Only with two weeks he's working that way. And the second video, it's a check video, show us, uh, show us how they train the methodology, a specific the step of discrimination order. After watching them, we are going to talk about the videos.
¿Estás seguro que es él? ¿Muy seguro? ¡Ay! Ahora sí, ¿verdad? You watched it. Uh, you watched I I adopted Batman because the old owns uh, say that he has behavior problem. Mm, then immediately I start to work with him and the result that the only it's the dog need attention. Okay, uh, they offer me and I accept it. I, I took bonds from my the laboratory in my university. Uh, well, uh, the university and I working and I began with this other base. They work fantastic and one of the training is the distraction. Uh, for example, in the video you can see food, you can hear cats, uh, you can hear dogs and of course a lot of people was there but he did a great job and in general he was a, a great job. In this second video, access some words, tips, and I hope you identify. Did you see it? First, um, the dog sees where it's the different odors. Without gloves, but that is not a problem. If we are training and the dog is a, a new dog, it, it's not a problem. But uh, he walks with him. Do this in a dog advanced will be extremely dangerous because the dog can see our body language uh, and that why no which one is the correct because he felt the nervous and when walk around the jar mm, and finally to the end the video for price uh, he gives food he, he gives food and that it's another extremely dangerous thing. Uh, why? It's a logic. Eh? You mustn't give food like reward because it could be interference with all the process in the methodology. We follow the, uh, the methodology uh, Ivan Pavlov. There are many types of crimes that we can use with this technique, but due to the characteristic, there are some, especially in which it's used a common way. For example, kidnapping, the murder, theft, and sexual offenses. In kidnapping, we usually have this panorama. The place where the kidnappers have the victim in usual is usually out down with only person take care of him and here's where we have the possibility of take the other the surfaces where the kidnappers walk it, sat or lay down. In the particular case of murder and theft usually need a weapon and could be a crane to contact. Imagine a safe. The victimizer need open the safe and wait some minutes for open we can take the order for the surface on the floor from the safe door the handle and all surfaces touched by criminal in especially in sexual offenses like i told you before the same characteristic from the crime the sexual offenses are activities that involve physical activity and an average of time involves fluids
I remember one case in particular uh, of murder and sexual offenses uh, about one girl and her house was murdered and nobody knows where the criminal had entered. After a few minutes, the expert considered the opinion that he had entered for a little window locally on the top. Uh, they took the other from the different places and especially that area and later found uh, one suspect and was positive his other with the other capture from the, the scene crime uh, was a, a case so so sad we must to see this this fact uh, it's very important too unfavorable factors mm, but training canine to high energy laboratory room condition bad practice and the methodology and bad preservation of smell and low quality in another base we're going to see this in step by step okay the first unfavorable facts are the experts and of course i said could be like all the like all the techniques, we must pay attention in the professional. What is the methodology used and how does he carry out? It's very important. Like you see, if the dog receives a bad training, results will be a bad results. It's obviously. Another thing is canine with too high energy. If the dog has too high energy, it can do false positives for only get the reward. The structure is very important too because we must to care all details that can intervene with the dog work. Everything must be under control, like the weather for conserve the odor of course and anything distraction. Finally, bad preservation of the smell and low quality from other base sometimes it's impossible yeah it's impossible to take a good odor from the scene crime and we must to know it is perfect possible i know maybe you have a lot of questions but those are the most frequently asked me every time i talk to the bot for psychotology the breed it is important uh, the breed of dog. I think this is the most frequent question always asked me. The breed of dog could be a factor, but the truth is that it's more important the ability for the work. Mm, let me explain. If you have a Belgian Malinois, one of the most important working breeds around the world, and this dog don't approve the different exam and he don't show aptitude and this dog don't approve the different exam and he don't show aptitude, that dog, despite being Malinois, not will be a good dog for this discipline. If the dog doesn't use his nose, not it's possibly integrated. Some other people ask me about the time. How long time during order? This is the question difficult to answer because we saw too that the cells have an average lifetime this is very specific problem and depend of many variables we saw unfavorable factors like the rain or fires even chemicals but in the current circumstances in the closed place for example there are cases that after years persist the other now it's turn to come back to the dog again it's it's possible <clears throat> it's possible to do this technique without the dog this question was answered previously the reality is that doesn't exist some machine can substitute the powerful and the practice nose of the dog yes does exist a uh, nose electronic but for you understand me that nose works similar way to the how the dog's nose does. The reason the dog nose is so good for this job is because they have the ability to separate the smell 
Mm, let me explain this. For example, in one soup, if we come home, we can smell the soup and uh, even we can know that it's a chicken soup. But uh, the dog can smell and say and say us this soap have chicken potato corn onion garlic and all condiments and if have some artificial product you know it and that is another fact i live it all my life with dog but that doesn't qualify me i had to study too i study ethology can i uh, does it mean ethology canine? In resume, an expert in canine behavior, body language, and all behavior in general. Why bite? Why bark? And of course, how I get an excellent dog. Like you see, the expert in forensic odorology must to know a lot of topic, low olfactory neurophysiology canine ethology, biology, criminalistic. And now I want to mention something that is very important here. Here in Mexico, we call it criminalistic to the expert in the same crime investigation, CSI, because maybe you don't know what I mean when I say it. And it's hard to know one criminalistic expert in canine ethology, and it's more difficult no canine handler with knowledge with forensic science. Is it the best technique in the world? Forensic odorology is one of the many techniques that exist to help the investigator and sometimes it could be more useful, but it all depends on the circumstances. I don't want to tell lies and I won't tell them, but it's not correct to say that this is the best investigative technique or anything like that. I like be honest and I still talk more about this theme and the next slide. A way to conclusion and first of anything, I hope you enjoy it. What did we see? The forensic odorology is a technique from the criminalistic or of the forensic science that apply the scientific method therefore has scientific validity. A lot of people, inclusive scientific, has still doubts about the odorology, but I believe that with all the scientific advance we get now and we want a strict methodology was demonstrated that the odorology is one technique more about criminalistic and which we are true. And I understand. If they don't believe, maybe they don't can the opportunity to talk with one expert, one true expert in this area for answer all their questions. Odorology is feasible in a wide range of scenes, but maintain its limitation. The forensic odorology has a few average places, but has its limit. Like I said before, Sometimes the people think this is the absolute answer and I don't know why I'll do it. We must know all the techniques have limits and we saw them. It's a technique that must be practiced with professional and responsibility. And it's a technique that must be practiced with professionalism and responsibility because many, many times I saw person talk about this technique and sincerely, maybe could be expert in forensic science, but if you never work with dog, it's not possible to do. Or in best way, if you are a cunning handler and don't have idea about science forensic, um, it's like see only the half panoramic view. I always, in the end to my conference, I like share titles of books in interesting relation with the conference and if you wish follow the theme. If you are interested more about this technique, there are a lot of books and papers, publication, but here you have my recommendation. First, investigate about Linda Buck. 
She's a real expert in as far olfactory system is concerned. She won a Nobel Prize, and I think that say a lot. Paola Prada too. She's from Texas, and she has interesting and publication on the internet. And and there are two very interesting books, and it's so funny because I always recommend it, and I say they are in English. Can I suspect discrimination from the Irish and root and can I send detection from joy? I leave you there cover page and I invite everybody follow me in my social media, Facebook, Instagram. I'm creating courses from different specialists. Uh, the truth is all is in Spanish, but if I see people interested in my specialists, I will consider doing English too. It's always a pleasure to talk about this interesting technique with all you. And don't forget if you have any question in my email or social media. And if you like it too, can save me one comment, please. I hope to see you soon and thank you for all.